Hello, today we'll work with this icon here, which leads us to the Hypershade editor. And more specifically, you type in random and you see a random node here. And with the middle mouse button, you can move it into the scene. And the interesting thing about this random node is that it creates random colors. And it all goes with a seed. So if you have a look here, this kind of orange, if you change the number of the seed, say, to 33, and press Enter, you have a different color. It's a random color. So 34 is another color. So this is just a number for the random process where to start. We'll create a standard surface shader. I type in stair, so it comes right here. It's a standard surface shader, which sits here. And we connect the out color to the base color of the standard surface shader. So basically, the standard surface shader is what shades our object. We don't have an object in the scene yet. We want four of them. And in order to get four of them, we duplicate them. So we select Actually, I need only to select this one, which is sort of the top node. And then I go to Edit, Duplicate, and I duplicate the shading network. So you see the duplicate has the random node coming with it, and it's a random node 2. Whereas that one was a random node 1. And this is a s surface shader 2 and the other one was a surface shader 1. So um, we can repeat this command, we want four of them, but I just can pr press the key G and Maya repeats the process over and over again. Okay, we, now we have four of them. Let us introduce geometry now. So I minimize this and we go for this object here. Go to this icon here. Yeah, okay, now it's here and uh, I duplicate it by Control D and move it to the side just like this. Now I press Shift D in order to duplicate it and transform it in the same way as before. So I have four of them now. Now I select them all and I press Control D again and I move them down here. So I have eight now. Now very simple, right mouse click assign existing material the first one goes here the second one goes here and that's gonna be one when we run the the time now nothing changes uh, the random process hasn't been initiated yet. We can do this very simply with a function. And uh, let's open the hypershade window again. So let's go to the first one here, up here. And um, what will um, we typed in seed 34 before when we when we started with this tutorial? Uh, let's go for equals time plus. Actually, I'll leave it like this, equals time. What does it change here? Nothing. Because the random node is an AI random node, that is an Arnold shader thing, and you need to render the scene now. In order to render it, uh, create a light, and I create a sky dome light, and I don't want to see it right here, but I want its influence to happen, so I go to show and deactivate light here. And now I can go to Renderer, and instead of the Viewport 2.0, I can activate Arnold and start the rendering process with this arrow here. This is our shader number one, which we just changed with this function. And when, you, um, when we run the animation, every second we get a new color. You can extend the frame range.
This flickering comes from sort of real-time rendering. It will go away once you actually do a batch render. Okay, so we have random colors right here, which we initiated with that random node here. So we go to the random node number two now. And instead of having the seed 34, we'll enter equals time divided by two. So you already see those two here, which carry the surface shader number two, are changing their pattern. So let's go to the node number three which is right here, I guess. And here I change the seat to, well, equals three times frame, which is much faster than time. And we step forward to the last one, which is the random node four. And here we can change it to equals sine of time, which doesn't make sense because sine uh, goes from minus one to plus one. Actually, let's extend this a little bit. Four times sine of time. We're currently at frame 152. When I step to the next one, I have color changes, color changes, but not here because that's the slowest one. This changes now and stays here for a whole second, whereas the other ones change. This one, the node two, is a slow changer as well. Now it changes and soon the yellow will go away because a second will have passed right now. Okay, having shown you this random node, this is just one purpose you can use it for. It's very versatile, of course, and have a good day.